back out of this um, ice builder with the water problem. Um, appears to be going off on low pressure switch on the safety, um, but it's still got 60 psi on the on that. Well, we've got the gauge on there, so something between here and there was um, causing a restriction. So I've took the valve off because there's a strainer in here. I thought we'd have a look and uh, see what's going on in there. So it's um looks like a mix of um ice and oil and some nasty um grey looking stuff. It's probably just dirt from the water. Seal the refrigerant um boiling off as it melts, yeah. So that's just blocking up blocking up the uh, intake. That's the inlet. It's got a couple of holes in the bottom, three holes in the bottom where the oil gets into the sump, and the hole in the top, which you won't be able to see, which is where it goes. Gas comes in, goes up, goes through a hole in the valve plate, gets above here, and then goes into either cylinder. So that, that's why it was going up low pressure, because that strain is full of, um, <coughs> full of muck. I think we'll leave that melt and see what it turns into. See um dryer core and it lives in there. So just put a new one in there. See the frost it's um it's quite cold. I'm not sure if that's moisture coming out of the um coming out of the core or um well, it's just because the actual body of it's cold and it's taken it out of the air. So there was a bit of a tide mark in here, sort of like that. So uh, that would count for where that's sitting because it's only doing it on the bottom half. So put the back pump back on.